One of the great traditions of Michigan football in the Schembechler years has been outstanding offensive line play. This year, the tradition carries on with fifth-year seniors John Vitale and Mike Hussar carrying the load. Excellence in the offensive line takes a team within a team attitude to really make it work. There's big pressure to perform, and this process doesn't happen overnight. Starting out young, it's really hard to just like jump right in and play your hardest because you think, I think when you play young, you think too much. And like now, as you get older and I've been playing more, you, you tend more to play on instinct than you do on, uh, you don't really have to think about what you're doing. You like think about the play and you know where you're going, but you can think about, you know, what kind of uh, stance is this guy in? Has he got way forward? Is he going to come across the line? Is he going to loop back? Or you, you can, you know, read the stances of your opponents more and concentrate on their defense and you kind of instinctively know what you're going to do already. We all have to think together. So if we're all thinking the same, you know, we're all going to work the same. You can't have anyone, you know, with a train of thought other than, you know, what your job is for that play and every play after that. You know, and that's what's good. You know, everyone kind of does think together to know how each other plays. It's not a pressure perform, to perform from other people. I think it's a pressure to perform from Bo. He expects that. And uh, he's had some good lines here. And I think he expects us to perform up to his standards. And I think that's the only standards we really expect to play up to. I mean, we're not worried about what the press thinks or uh, anyone else. As long as he's satisfied, we're satisfied. And for all their work, there's very little publicity. They are blue-collar guys who do their jobs almost unnoticed, but it doesn't seem to matter. The team and the win is their concern. That doesn't bother me. It's, I don't know if it bothers anyone else, but, you know, it's just as long as we're getting our job done and we're doing as good as we can, that's more satisfaction for us. It's not like, you know, they're going to switch any of us to fullback or anything. You know, it's like all our life, that's all we've done is block, and, you know, that's what we're going to do here. And, you know, that's what we try to do and try to accomplish. This attitude develops over their careers, and it's a tradition at Michigan that feeds itself. You kind of look at that one wall we have in the uh, offensive room, it's the uh, Hall of Fame, and you see all the great linemen we've had here and what they've done in their careers in the NFL or otherwise. You kind of want to become part of that. And uh, when you are part of that, you feel special. And it's something to strive for. As a younger guy playing so early in your careers, like uh, Dingman or Skretnik, there's something they can strive for you know, as they get older, and, you know, it's, it's like a goal you want to obtain. Well, we've done it again. We've had the opportunity to work in a good piece on the offensive line. The men. The guys that make it happen really up count. front. Just think, Jim, you were one of those. I know. I was, huh? I was hoping my name would get on the wall. <laughs> but I wasn't I did, good I enough. looked down that wall. I didn't see Jim Brinstead. Yeah, Brinstead wasn't up there, Bo. Yeah. But anyway, those, and you got two real good ones. Uh, Mike and John are uh, both, you know, fifth-year guys. Yeah, marvelous players. You know, you can count on them. And uh, we took Kusar, moved him from tackle to guard uh, midway through the season. He makes the switch just like that. You really don't hear much about him, but, you know, the guys like that are really the backbone up there, aren't they? Oh, yeah. I mean, you're, you're not going to win without them. Believe me when I tell you that. Uh, it's what's up front that counts. And uh, being an offensive lineman myself, Jim, and uh, you have an appreciation for that. We all understand we'll win or lose on the basis of what those guys do.